Hello everyone, uh, it's Russell Lowe speaking. Uh, in this short tutorial, I'm just going to go over uh, modifying the player pawn in the uh, VR template so that uh, you can sort of do something like walking around rather than uh, teleporting, uh, popping from one place to another. Uh, so this is uh, the uh, motion controller map and uh, I've just selected the VR pawn. Um, if we go into uh, uh, the blueprint editor so we can edit its uh, blueprint, uh, we can see a few things that we'll just go through and modify and we'll start we'll start from the top. So um, the first thing is uh, on the beginning of play, it sets up uh, the height of the uh, tracking origin. And for Oculus Rift, uh, like uh, Sting VR, we need to set it to floor level. Now, I find that on occasion this doesn't work properly and you get strange height issues. So why don't we just go ahead and uh, delete that. Uh, actually, let me just undo that. Um, this part is just a switch on name, so it figures out what's actually been plugged into your laptop or, or computer. And uh, depending on what it is, it sets um, things differently, the um, tracking origin differently. Um, but because we're just going to be plugging in the Oculus, we can just get rid of that and just say uh, the very first thing you do, um, just set the tracking origin to floor level because that suits us with the Oculus. And PlayStation 4, we're not plugging in, so let's just get rid of all that stuff. Uh, hit compile, um, you get a tick and you know that everything's okay. Probably worthwhile compiling on occasion, um, just so you know uh, if you need to undo anything. Uh, we don't need to um, adjust anything here. This controls the... Um, uh, the hands that um, come in and get attached to you and uh, and they're attached to the motion controllers and you can move your hands and, and squeeze the trigger and all that sort of stuff and it um, uh, makes it go. Uh, makes the hands open and close, I should say. Uh, teleportation, uh, the whole point of this tutorial is that we um, are getting rid of that. So let's just um, disable all that. The uh, handle controller input, or handling, I guess this is handling the controller input. Um, so we've got some input actions. Uh, they're set up in the um, uh, project settings, so we'll take a look at them in a second because we need to add a couple. Um, but the input action grab left is, uh, left controller is, um, once you press that, uh, it enables grabbing things. So we want to keep that in the right hand as well. Um, but down here, um, the controllers also um, do some stuff relating to teleporting, teleporting left, teleporting right. Uh, we're not going to do any of that either, so let's get rid of that. And then um, let's get rid of that email. That would be good. And then uh, left hand teleport rotation, uh, right hand teleport rotation. We're not doing any of that either. And Yes, busy day on the emails. Um, and that's that's everything in there. So we just need hands and we need um, motion controllers and things like that. Now, um, we can compile that. And what will happen with this is that if you go into VR, you'll um, get spawned at the right height. You'll uh, get your hands attached to you and you can... Um, uh, move them and grab anything you're close enough, but you won't be able to, close enough too. But you won't be able to move. So we need to um, we need to uh, um, enable movement. Um, so we need to do two things. We need to um, uh, have um, an input uh, to the system um, to make us move forward and make us and backwards and make us move left and right. And so we'll use the uh, left joystick on the motion controller to do that. So um, I'll just pop uh, over to here, edit and project settings. In the project settings, I'll go to input. And you can see I've got teleport left, I'll teleport right, sorry. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Um, teleport left, we don't need that. We're going to keep the grab left and grab right. HMD teleport, we don't need that either. And our axis mappings, teleport up, we don't need that. These are all related to things that we've deleted from the motion controller pawn. 
um, teleport direction right, gone. Um, let's kill. Some left X and right. Yeah, so let's kill the right ones of these. And this is the name that it was um, that it that uh, is referenced when you click this button, which is your left thumbstick. If you move that up and down uh, in the Y direction, this was doing something in the uh, motion controller pawn. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just rename this because we want to use that thumbstick up and down. So let's re rename this to um, move forward. And um, this one here, um, left thumbstick again. Unfortunately, the um, the full name doesn't um, go across uh, here. It runs out of space for the full name. So there's actually thumbstick, and then, then it'll say um, uh, x-axis for this one, and this one's y-axis. Um, so, uh, but that's just a thing about the interface. It doesn't fit the full name, which is a little frustrating. Uh, but let me write here, um, move right. And the thing is, um, if you move right, it goes to scale of, um, if you push the joystick right, it'll go one. If you um, move the joystick to the left, it'll go to minus one. And, um, and so that'll move your left. And same with, um, same with forward. Uh, okay, so that's all we need to do there. We just need to remember move forward and move right. So let's go back. We don't need to save this, uh, which is sort of disconcerting for people like me that like to save everything. Um, so then um, what we need to do is um, grab those inputs. So let's go um, right-click and input uh, move, move forward. So that's an axis of event that we just set up, and it's already appearing over here. So move forward. Oh, let's zoom into it. Move forward, and let's go. Um, uh, now let's go add a um, movement input. So drag this off, and we'll go um, add movement input. So I just typed in movement, and it's finding this for me. And then uh, we want to know what direction it is. So we're going to do it in the direction that the camera is. So we'll just click on the component off to the um, left-hand side here and just click and drag it in there. Now we've got a reference to that. Um, and we could put that into, um, oh, well, first we need to know which direction that's facing. So um, let's get its forward direction. Uh, so it's uh, get forward vector. Get forward vector, and then um, little trick here: we have to right-click on this and split this pin, and so that splits it from being a vector of um, x, y, and z combo to just x, y, and z as individual things. The reason we did that is that we're going to make our player float around um, x and y um, in the x and y plane, and no z, so no up and down. Uh, and then we need to make that. Um, so let's go um, make vector. Uh, make vector. And then we just wire the X and the Y to come from our camera. And the um, Z, we'll just leave that at zero. And so that means that that'll always be zero. It doesn't matter what these ones are. So you'll never be able to go up and down uh, and return the value into the world direction. And so now this axis value, we can plumb this straight into here. Um, but I know from previous experience that we want to um, uh, we want to uh, drop it down a little bit, control the speed a little bit. Um, so what we can do is we can add a function to do that. Um, so over here in the variables, or sorry, a variable to do that. Um, so in this variables list over here, we see variables. And we'll change this to um, speed multiplier. Speed multiplier, hit enter. Uh, it defaults to a Boolean, but if we look over to the other side here, we can change it to a, um, a float. 
So that's um, a float's kind of any number. Uh, we want to put a default value in, but we have to compile. See, this says please compile the blueprint, so we'll compile it, and then let's change it to 0.3. So we can come back at any point. If we're going too fast or too slow, we just come back here and just change this number in it, and we don't need to change anything else here. Let's pull the speed multiplier in, uh, get that. You can see we could get it or set it, so we could actually um, uh, we could actually uh, change this on the fly uh, if we wanted to. So we want to take our axis value and multiply it by this. So um, let's see if I just on the keyboard, yeah, on the keyboard I just um, hit shift and uh, eight, which makes the multiply and a float times a float multiplication, but I could have typed in multiplication too, I guess. Let's try that. Multiply, float times a float. What I want, get my speed multiplier, which is, as you know, is currently set to 0.3, and then get this one and stick it into there. And so now when I push my uh, um, axis, uh, my joystick forward, it says add this movement to it, and um, the axis value, uh, the amount of movement is going to be scaled by, or uh, multiplied by 0.3, so it slows it down a little bit, and it's going to be in the direction of where I'm looking, uh, but not up. So that's um, that's moving uh, that's moving um, forward. So I'm just going to select all that, Control C, and come down here and go Control V, and I'm going to kill that one and um, that one there. And so now I'm going to go um, input. Uh, move right. There we go. Access event. Move right. So I'm just replacing the um, forward with um, access move forward. I wonder why that's that's odd. That just came up with an error when I um, uh, when I copied it. Huh. Uh, maybe because there was two uh, of the same name. But as soon as I deleted it, I can uh, recompile and we're fine. Yeah, it's probably because there's two of the same name. Uh, access value into here like that, and um, and so that's going to reduce my move right um, uh, by factor or multiply by 0.3, so slow it down. And now I need to get um, uh, get right vector and do what I did before. Right click, break that, and just grab the x and the Y numbers. Compile it again, and so that will control my movement. But the thing is, there's nothing in, um, in my components um, to, to receive any of that movement. So this won't work until we put something in here to receive movement. Um, so we've got uh, the VR origin of my camera. If we go to the viewport, you can see those things here. Go back to the event graph. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to add a component, and let's just type movement. And under movement, you can see floating pawn movement. There's some other ones here too, like for wheeled vehicles and and uh, a simple one, and I guess a more advanced one, a floating pawn movement. And the tooltip has come up uh, to say that it, it provides simple movement for any um, pawn class, and we are in that class. Click on that. And now we've got a movement, so compile that. And um, if I come back here, my um, pawn is in the um, is in the world, so it'll work. Uh, save the current, hit um, VR preview, and uh, we'll be able to move around using the left joystick. Uh, we'll have the hands to be able to grab things still. Um, and uh, there you go. Now you might be wondering why we didn't um, add the hands to the um, uh, the hands to the um, the regular moving character in the um, regular first person blueprint. Well, we've tried that, and um, it all worked fine, um, except for um, 
the left hand was um, uh, going invisible uh, on occasion, and it was really weird. And so we haven't quite figured out why that's happening. So um, we'll uh, keep trying to get to the bottom of it. But until then, this is a um, reasonable workaround. Um, cheers.